Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm going to show you today how to make sure the ends of your rows are tidy. Hi, welcome to Knit with Hannah. I'm Hannah. I'm here with Knitting Natter to help you learn to knit the easy way. Today I'm going to show you, I'm going to demonstrate how you can finish or start the ends of your rows so they look neater. Sometimes if you just started knitting or you just have a different style, a looser knit, then you can find the garter stitch edges and even sometimes the stocking stitch edges can feel a bit loose. They can feel more stretched in the general centre of the knitting. So I'm going to give you a method today so you can tidy it up and you'll see I've done a small amount of knitting without it and a small amount of knitting with this technique and you will notice a difference. So you may want to carry on and use this yourself. Let's get to it. Right, I have a small sample of knitting here. You can see that I'm basically knitting in garter stitch. And this is when sometimes a problem occurs, that you finish a row, you start a new one, and the rows seem a bit like there's too much, too much yarn there at the end of the rows. It feels far too loose and far too stretchy. So let me show you what I've done. At the base here, I have knitted every row, but at the first stitch of every row, I've actually slipped. So I don't knit the first stitch, I just move the next, I move that stitch onto the next needle without knitting it. And then from here, all the way up, you can see, maybe you can see it's just that tiny bit wider because I've knitted every stitch up here and there feels like there's a little bit more fabric going up the sides. So this is an aesthetic. Do you prefer that look where it looks slightly less fabric or this look where maybe it seems like it's um, flared a bit. It, I have knitted baby blankets with garter stitch edges, I've knitted all sorts of things with garter stitch and I've not really used this technique at all much. It's an option if you'd like to try it, if you see that you notice a difference or perhaps because you're a beginner knitter your stitches are just that little bit looser and you want to um, make sure that it seems tidier, neater along the edge. I'm going to show you how I do this. I'm going to do the next couple of rows just like I did that first section. So I pick up the yarn and I start knitting. But this first stitch, I slip it as if I'm knitting it. So I go into the stitch exactly the same way from the left to the right and I slip that first stitch. Now the next stitch I knit and I knit all the way along the row, just as I would normally. And then get to the end of the row, turn the knitting around, and I do exactly the same thing. I slip that first stitch, and then I knit the rest of the row. It's that simple. Now if I get to the end of the row, you will see that the last stitch feels just that little bit tighter as I come to it. There, it just feels a bit tighter. But that is just because we've got one stitch doing the job of two stitches, because we've slipped it instead of knitting it. And as I do more of this, and you may notice a slight difference I certainly noticed that it feels different and I just suggest that you try it for yourself. If your knitting is loose anyway then this might be a big help. But if you're an experienced knitter you've never noticed any problem then don't worry. I must admit like I said I don't really use this method myself. I know it's available to me. Um, but there you go, I, I am quite happy with my knitting as it is. You can see a very slight difference there. That appears to be slightly neater and that appears to have a lot more fabric going over a shorter distance. There you are. Okay, well I hope that's been helpful for you and do let me know in the comments if you decide to use this method before. Have you done it yourself already? Well, I hope that was useful for you. Now know, you now know how to finish your knitting so that the edges of your rows are neat and tidy.
tidy, not too loose, not too tight. And you can go through those rows, you can fly through those rows and really be happy with your finished result. Well, I hope you'll join me again next week. Please subscribe so you're notified of any new videos. They will be there every Tuesday for you. I release a video every Tuesday, every single week. I hope to see you again then. Bye for now. Happy knitting.